Hello guys and welcome to Astrology Coaching by Anatoly. Today we're proceeding with the fourth zodiac sign from the zodiac belt and the name of the fourth zodiac sign of course is Cancer. If you want to know more about Cancer and if you want to know how to see in which field of your life you have a lot of ups and downs and a lot of fluctuations, you should watch this video. We're starting now. Okay guys, so um, now we are going to discuss uh, the Cancer Zodiac sign and we will proceed with the same script from the previous uh, Zodiac signs videos and we start with the motto of the Cancer. The motto of the Cancer is I feel. That's why this is one of the most emotional signs in the Zodiac sign, in the Zodiac belt. The name according to the Vedic Astrology is Karka. The element of course is water but the, mm, the flowing water, I mean the river water. Scorpio is the water that doesn't move, like lakes, swamps, that is a little bit dirty and hidden and full with mystery. Um, the quality, and Pisces is the ocean, of course, rules the oceans. The quality is movable, that's why Cancer is action oriented sign it's not only it's not uh, sitting only home uh, it's not a only home sitting sign it is very action oriented sign uh, the guna is sattva this means this is creative energy pure god energy that creates and it is very creative the symbol of course it's a crab the gender is female the uh, the moon is the owner is the ruler of the sign uh, the exaltation, e exaltation is for Jupiter. Jupiter loves to be in uh, Cancer. And if you have Jupiter in Cancer, you are a very, very lucky person. Um, it gives a lot of luck. It gives a lot of opportunities. Of course, depends on your chart. But if you're born when Jupiter is in Cancer, you're a very lucky person. Uh, debilitation is for Mars. For example, imagine a warrior because Mars is a warrior, it's a fighter. Imagine the warrior goes to your um, um, in the home or, and you put him put the warrior uh, in front of uh, the couch, sitting on the couch or uh, cooking in the kitchen. The warrior doesn't like to be in the kitchen. He wants to be out and fight and compete with others and fight for the king, fight for the commander. Uh, and that's why Mars is debilitated in uh, Cancer. The Mutricon sign uh, is, uh, Cancer is Mutricon sign for Rahu. But uh, again, in some textbooks, this is different. Most of the time, people, uh, Vedic astrologers say, say that uh, Rahu is the Mutri, I mean, Cancer is the Mutricon sign of Rahu. Body parts. So the body parts of Cancer are the breasts, uh, the, the, um, the lower part of the lungs, uh, and the chest. The breast, the chest, and the hormones. Uh, cancer rules the hormones. And if you have problems, if you have a lot of malefics in um, cancer, this may bring problems with the chest. You have to be careful with the lungs, with uh, you may be too emotional. Uh, all the fluids, as far as I know, all the um, fluids are controlled by cancer. Uh, you may have uh, problems with um, um, you may, uh, if you have a lot of malefics in cancer, due to its emotional nature, this can cause a lot of problems like depression, um, bulimia, orexia, orexia too. Mm, uh, because of this hyper hypersensitivity. But mainly it is the breast, the cancer rules the breast, the chest, uh, the hormones and the lower part of the lungs. This is the physical, the physic, physically it rules this thing. My mic, sorry. Uh, okay, the nakshatra, the constellations that, that uh, consist cancer are uh, Punarvasu, um, Pusha and Ashlisha. 
these are the constellations that consist this zodiac sign. So the words that describes uh, Cancer. First, the ruler is the moon. So the moon describes uh, what will be this sign. Mm, sen sensitive, very emotional, very um, looking for inner peace, looking, the heart is very important for Cancer. Sensual, emotional, uh, sensitive, very revengeful. If you hurt Cancer people, they will remember this they remember this forever. Uh, in the daily astrology, in the entertaining astrology, uh, people think that Scorpio, Leo are the most dangerous signs. Um, I don't agree with that. The most dangerous signs are Virgo and Cancer. If you insult Virgo and if you insult Cancer, they will revenge you. They will they will revenge not only you, they will revenge your children and your grandchildren and your grand-grandchildren. So be careful with the Cancers and Virgos. These are the real evil signs in the zodiac belt. Okay? Don't hurt them because they're angels. They're very good to the moment you hurt them. Okay? So about Cancer. Um, what else? Emotional, mother figure, very want to serve, want to help, want uh, to um, want to um, want to be a mother for everybody. The other thing is um, they are very intuitive. In intuitive, they have strong intuition. They are sometimes psychic. They are sometimes um, very spiritual because this is a moksha sign. What I mean by moksha, this is spiritual. Fourth house is spiritual house and uh, cancer is moksha, moksha sign, water sign. They love their home. They, they're very, they have to be very careful with the environment. People with strong influence of cancer, they have to be very careful with the environment they live. One of the best uh, politicians have strong cancer. One of the best uh, doctors, nurses, um, people who serve people, other people, people who help other people uh, have strong influence of cancer. A profession, um, one of the most emotional actors, one of the um, best uh, uh, hotel managers or industries and profession that serve other people, help other people, have strong cancer um, influence in their chart. So, I think, uh, <laughs> I think I said everything about, about cancers. Yeah, I think I said everything. So now, so now, now I'm going to show you how to analyze where will be the place where you meet a lot of ups and downs. So, we're going to draw again the chart. The North Indian chart. And the sector where the Cancer is will show you where you find a lot of ups and downs in your life. For example, this is the North Indian chart. This is always the ascendant. Okay? So, for example, you have which ascendant? Aquarius ascendant. Awesome. David, that's it. Okay, so the Cancer will be in your sixth house. You see? Basically, uh, this means that you meet a lot of up, ups and downs in your daily life. This means maybe you have ups and downs, a lot of fluctuation with your health. You have to be very careful with your health. Especially, of course, if you have Jupiter here, don't worry about your health. Everything will be fine, okay? Uh, but if you have malefics, if you have debilitated Mars, 
maybe there can be surgery so there will be a lot of ups and downs with uh, your health a lot of ups and downs with your job with your colleagues you have to be careful not to make uh, to have a lot of arguments with them uh, to be careful what you are saying uh, you may have a lot of depths you may have a lot of problems a lot of issues related to the work the environment um, cancer here brings ups and downs in your daily life you will not be you will not feel good dealing with the routine dealing with other people and you will need to to be a little bit more isolated of course this is a general explanation okay so if you have cancer here in the fourth house let's say here in the fourth house this will me i hope you see it in the fourth house here this means that you have ups and downs with your mother you have a lot of ups and downs in your home you will be diff it will be ups and downs finding happiness because four house is happiness um, inner peace and the cancer is the original zodiac sign for the fourth house so there you find a lot of turbulences in your inner world if you have cancer in the 11th house okay in the 11th house cancer here here this means that you have to be careful with the people with your friends you have to be careful with uh, uh, communicating with big group with big group of people big groups of people because there you have ups and downs there you have tides um, maybe you have problems ups and downs with uh, your income sometimes you have big uh, amount of uh, money coming to your life but on the other day you may have nothing so tides you know the moon causes tides that's why the this is the logic uh, beneath um, this uh, theory in vedic astrology wherever is uh, the cancer there you find tides ups and downs i hope you liked the video if you have any questions please comment and i'm going to reply to them thank you for watching it see you soon